So what's up guys, I'm Rupak and in this video I'm going to show you how you can trigger a webhooks event using IFTTT and ESP8266. So IFTTT stands for if this then that and let me tell you there's a pretty fun library to trigger a webhooks event but it has a glitch and it never works for me. So I have devised my own method of triggering a webhooks event without any library and in this video I'm going to show you how you can do that. So. First of all, you need to install the ESP8266 board definition onto your Arduino IDE and for that I am leaving a official link in the description box. Right after installing the board definition, you would see a whole lot of new boards added to the boards menu. I am using node MCU so I am going to locate and select that board. For now you don't need Arduino IDE and let's head towards the IFTTT website. I'm signing in, you guys can create a new account or sign in with Google or Facebook. So you would see this type of an interface, you just need to click the profile picture icon and select create. Right after clicking you would see this screen. Just go and select the grey colored button which says this and search for webhooks and select it. Now select receive a web request. Enter an event name of your choice, I'm entering demo and hit create trigger. Now select the grey colored button which says that and search for any random thing that you want to do when the event is triggered. I want to receive a notification, so I'm going to search for that. I just want to receive a simple notification from IFTTT app. Now I'll enter the type of message that I want. So it will be the event name double slash value 1 double slash value 2 double slash value 3 double slash and the time at which the event was triggered. Values 1, 2 and 3 are the 3 values which we are allowed to send while triggering the event. Hit create action and then select finish. Now click at the webhooks icon, select documentation and here you will see a secret key. Now basically if you enter the event name in place of event and copy the curl exposed URL and enter it in a new tab, you can trigger the event. You can even trigger the event by clicking the test it button. Now let's head towards the Arduino code. You can find this code from the description box. Here you can see couple of characters and strings. But first let's take a look at the code. These lines initialize the serial communication and disconnect the ESP8266 board if it was previously connected to any Wi-Fi network. These lines connect the ESP board to the SSID mentioned above. It will keep printing a dot on the serial monitor until it connects to the Wi-Fi router. Right after connecting, it will print Wi-Fi connected and the IP address on the serial monitor. Now these lines are the most important. Whenever you call these lines, it will trigger the web request. I have entered these lines in void setup because I want the code to run once and then stop. You can write these lines in void loop according to your needs if you want. Now I am entering the details like SSID, password, webhooks key and the event name. Let's say for value 1, I enter v1 and for value 2 and 3, I enter v2 and v3 respectively. 
Now I head towards my phone and download the IFTRIPLT app and log in with back credentials that I use on my computer. Now you can connect the ESP8266 port to your PC and upload the code. Now on my phone you can see that the ESP8266 port has been connected and I received a notification in the same format that I expected. So right now the board was connected to my phone's Wi-Fi hotspot but you can literally connect it to any Wi-Fi router you want and you will receive a notification anywhere in the world. And this project is not only limited to notifications, you can literally make it to anything you want like sending emails or triggering your voice assistant like Amazon Alexa and that's all for now I hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and I'll see you around